This is an overview of the content tabs for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the content tabs into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it labels actually the tabs and when you click on them, it switches the content inside. I'm going to take you over all of the settings and show you how you can customize this. So the first setting is for alignment. This is actually for the content itself. So you can align it, for example, to the center. You can see that the tabs uh, has not changed the alignment and we can change that setting later on. Direction is for a RTL language and you can also change this if you need to. I'm going to jump into items inside of each item. An item consists of two parts. The first part is the title and the second part is the text that it's inside. Let's jump into the style tab and see what we have here. So over here we have tabs container radius so we can make our radius rounded if we want to. We can add some padding if we want to and we can add a border. Let's jump into tab bar. This is the bar over here. We can give that bar a background color. As you can see, it's fully transparent right now. I'm gonna change the bar color, let's say to black or maybe a, let's go for a different color. Let's go for a bluish color. And over here, we can add some padding for our bar and radius for our bar. So. That's in cases you want to make your bar rounded, just like I did over here. That looks awesome. And the next part is for the alignment of the bar. You can align the items inside of the bar. For example, if I want to align them to center, just set that to center and now they're in the center of the bar. Let's go back to flex start, which looks awesome. We can add a border around our bar if we want to tab items. So right now, this is uh, the items over here. It's actually the non-selected items. You have three states for these. So the first one is the non-selected ones, which is actually the white ones over here. And you can also see that the background, their background is actually white right now. So I'm going to change their background from white to black. And I'm going to make that black a little bit transparent, something like that looking good and I'm going to change the text color to white. So that's just an example of how you can change the settings of the non-selected items, item padding. If we want to make our items bigger, this affects also those are that are selected and those that are on hover. So the padding is for all the states actually. And that's about it. I mean, you can add border, you can do whatever you want change the typography if you want to. And let's check out the hover state. So for the hover state, I'm gonna change the background color from this gray to black, just so you can see that as well. And I think we're about set. I mean, looks pretty good. So that was a quick overview and I wanted to just show you how you can change all the settings. Here's the content part. So I can add some padding for the content if I want to. I can change the content background if I want to can change the space between the tabs and the content and I can change the radius just for the content part if I want to so really it's really flexible hope you enjoy I hope you achieve what you want to achieve inside of your Elementor website and I'm going to see you in the next video